right, Mark Harris, you're in here for 10 minutes, not even. Seven minutes. Get in here quick. Make the most of him. He's out there flitting around. <laughs> I mean, like, uh... Oh, man. I have the most wonderful news. Now that Martha Ray is dead. Oh, and the Martha Ray money is going far. He just said, Gangie, to go get the douche dust. What are you wearing? It's a whole story. Good morning, oh, everybody. What are you we'll dressed like, a chic? You're, you're, you're dressed like Lawrence of Arabia. But you were talking about bar mitzvahs this morning. No. I what? But and so you took a sheet and put a it on story. your head? So you, you mean I talk about bar mitzvahs and you put a sheet on your head? How do you get up? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I gotta Lawrence of Fire Island. He is so happy. He is so <laughs> happy today. Line. Oh, what well, are you so yeah, well, Martha Ray is gone. No. Oh, no, come on. No. You got all the money. Look, look, I've never look. seen a person so First happy. Of all, <laughs> let me give everybody their uh No, 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 no. Christmas Wait. Gift. Oh, he got us douche dust. All right, listen. Listen to me. Stop oh, with yeah. the gifts. This is radio now. Listen to me. Oh. I understand you're walking around in a mink that has to be worth <laughs> A fortune and are you wearing martha ray's clothes are you are you that's the question everyone's <laughs> been asking see you here. her wardrobe why would i no, why would we see her wardrobe? you are wearing her clothing no i'm not I'm tell the truth own. that I you made that do you now own martha ray's clothing tell she the truth fatigues. that's what excuse I own. me fatigues. do you now own she has more than fatigues no she did she not have, have any minks first. only the gowns that i made for her oh so are you now wearing those gowns <laughs> no they're in storage and what about her minks where are they there's one sable, that's it. And what are you doing with that? Were you, are you not wearing it? No, it's in the closet. Like you? No, not me. I'm no, only in kitchens. <laughs> oh, he's out of I'm the closet. I'm only in kitchens. <laughs> no, be, be honest, Mark. I am honest. You don't accept it. There's and the Martha stable. Ray estate now is yours. You now have the house. The house is mine. Oh, I know. He's walking around with a lot of dough. Mm. I really am. Really? Yeah. The will was probated. Was it? No. What, he, what, no, what, he, you know you what keep he saying. Does? What? Everything what? is on account with him. Yeah, right. Uh, Boy, uh, well, this. Uh, According to him, he's got nothing. Right. He never no, had anything. No, that's not true. I what what have you got? I never said that. What have you gotten since Martha Ray's uh, demise? No, nothing. Nothing. Since her demise, nothing. From Martha Ray, that is. Right. From who? <laughs> I don't know. From I, friends. Other boyfriends. I just don't see marrying an old biddy unless you're going to get something out of it. <laughs> And you must have figured a way to get something out of it. No, 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 no. You've been out there screaming about some new surgery you're getting? Is that true? Yeah, well, I wasn't screaming. The reporter chose to write everything. Yeah, January 30th. What are you doing now? A total facelift. I don't you're, want my money's worth. Can I'm I just Jewish, say something? Just ever so You are little. a young guy. I mean, what? I'm having a partial your birthday. partial facelift. No, I didn't. I had a redraping of a neck and a liposuction. Oh, a redraping <laughs> of a neck. A so, redraping yeah. of a neck. So, like, now, you know. Okay, he's, like, he's, like, he's like Yasser Arafag. <laughs> no, you got it. That's not a bad line, but the guy that gave me this, you don't want to say that to, including all right, well, this. All right. What do you have? You know, what, that's a very expensive watch you're wearing. No, I couldn't believe he gave it Show to that me. to the camera. Where is the camera? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the camera is, but right. I think I need more lighting. You're yet. dating a guy and he no, gave you I'm that not. watch? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> You know, I should have brought the Arab up with me. No, I got to tell you what happened. You're dating an Con Arab. No, I'm not dating an Arab. Why did he give you a watch? It's unbelievable. I have a television show. <laughs> you How do. How do you like that? Yes, and I have an agent tomorrow. And that's why now everything will happen. Anyway, now let me tell now you. Now, why do you show. have a, um, now wh where do you have a television show? It's, we just finished it, and it goes to NAPTI, uh, January 23rd in Vegas. That's why I'm having right, surgery. So, you, so in other words, you don't have a television show. You're trying to sell a television I show. believe this one will sell. And what is the concept here? Tasty Travels. <laughs> the first time ever you will tune in around the world, because I've been filming in Germany, France, and everything, and having a few dates, and uh, in their kitchens of the everyday, like the poor and the unknown, they do their recipe. I make my corrections on it. So the other day, I go Are to you this following oh, this show? Are you what a mess funny. this TV show. <laughs> oh, Can you, you imagine him so? pitching? You, think you so? know oh, that this will never man. be seen anywhere. Oh, you think so, right? oh, I know it. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, Why didn't so you let bring us a pilot? What is the I show? I bring you a piece of food. Where, what is the show? I what is he talking about? Pilots I, editing now. I can't get a... Gr it's a cooking show. Oh, it is. Right. And he but goes around cooking? No, they do. He goes Who's they? somebody's Whoever house. you are in your house. Candid food. Get it? So now tell me, what is the dish that we are making? Oh, uh, Mark, I, go, I make it for you. Chicken and rice. Rascapollo? Yeah. But I... Oh, my. I wait, wait, I come equipped. Rascapollo! Oh. Let's do it! Oh, let's...
No, no, it's really good. Okay, it doesn't matter. What he really, does it doesn't is matter. he finds some pretty. old bitty in, in, in Italy oh, somewhere, and he goes into her kitchen, and then she cooks something, and he makes corrections. Better than going on the corner for some pizza. Oh. On the uh, recipe, and that's the show. More carrots, tasty traveler. What is this? We are making a turkey meatloaf. Very healthy. Very healthy, low in cholesterol. Low in cholesterol. They tell me, is it kosher? Richard Simmons looks macho yeah. been, next to him. You know, recently they've been calling me the beautiful Richard Simmons. Is that right? Yeah. All right. So let me hear your song. So you... Oh, okay. Do that first. Then I'll right, and what is this? First. You're going to get a, a full facelift. Yes. For the oh, TV and a, show. Why, though? I mean, no offense, but I don't understand what you... I'm defying the law of gravity. Everything's falling. So I'm picking it up. I'm getting a whole tummy tuck, surface stomach. They're taking... Can't you go on a diet? Surface stomach. I do. Then they take the fat out of there and they're putting it in my ass. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. A bubble butt. And then they're going to uh, reduce my testicles. So I'm getting a face. What do you mean? What? Are you serious? What? Yeah, I'm very serious. Reduce your testicles? Yeah, I'm kidding. Why? The Jews, too big. Uh, but at 40, 50 years old, you know, you got to... Wait, 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 you have ever face? heard of a testicle? Has this ever been done? Have you, has this course, ever been done? Yeah, it's just the skin. You know, they're firming it up. Really? So I don't have to swing it to well, the they right put a, or the left. They don't have to make decisions. Well, they morning. put a drawstring in your ass? No, so that you can, uh, no, You can let no, it down? No. You can let it up and down? Oh, no. Oh, Jack, you don't look well. <laughs> That's wrong. Are you really doing that to your, your uh, testicles? You just, yeah, just the skin. You look at that and say, oh, I need a lift? Like you look at yourself down well, there? Well, I, I shower every day. I mean, you mean you I, care I, how you look? Down there. No, I, I feel about moving it this way and this way. You, wait, wait, excuse let me, it just stay where it should Sounds be. Sounds like maybe you got a complaint from one of his friends or something. No, yeah, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a good one of his buddies. Jackie. Aren't you afraid of AIDS? Why should I be afraid of AIDS? That's well, disgusting. because uh, for gay sex. <laughs> what do you mean, how disgusting? That. I don't do that, and I don't bend over if you put a banana on the floor. Really? You no, don't have gay no. sex? Not like that. Oh, no one Okay, let's that. play Oh, that's song. disgusting. Now listen to the words. Not like that. <laughs> You've had that. I really have, huh? Okay, if you say so. Okay. You've never done that. How would you know you didn't like it? Oh, believe me. I think, first of all, I'm not, you know, uh, ranking it. It has to be in your mind first, then put it someplace else. That's not in my mind. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Right. I don't know Fair what's enough. in that mind. That's <laughs> you know. in that mind. I'm just trying to figure out what the TV show is. Yeah. Let's go to the table. Let's go yeah. eat. I'd make a magazine cover. I do keep house and a dime. I make a wonderful lover. I should be paid over time Cause I could cook too On top of the rest My seafood's the best in the town And I could cook too My fish can't be beat My sugar's the sweetest around Oh, the hell with calories, it's wonderful <laughs> Real big is You see, this, this is your tape of your song <laughs> Video conferencing technology used in the production of the Howard Stern Show. For <laughs> this is about Newt, Newt Gingrich. Gingrich. Yeah, you must right. like. And you play it once all the way through. Do you like Newt Gingrich or you don't? No, you do oh. not. No. Why don't you? Because I'm a Republican. I'm not going to allow that crap in the party. Oh, you are a Republican. I've always been. Yeah. And what is wrong with him? Well, listen to the record. Every word I say is true. Okay, let us hear. Oh, listen to the record. Every word I say is true. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> uh, you only know one tune, right? It's become my signature. <laughs> Can you imagine the music what sheet? To the song? Everything is Where constantly is erased. I know. I think uh, I, this is his signature. My signature. My signature. I'm going to do a Dear Howard song after this. <laughs> I think his mind is soggy with his, all of his friends' fluids. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you still dating that French guy, the young French No, I'm going guy? to the... I'm leaving for Paris Friday. I'm Go going to, to the wedding, wedding Saturday. Okay. Oh, your friend is getting married even though he has gay sex with you? Right. Yeah. But I'm not going on the honeymoon. Trust me. So you've had gay sex with this guy and he's going to marry a woman and ruin her life? A real woman, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Where's the song? Okay, here we okay. go. <laughs> oh, do I hate you? <laughs> no, you don't, Howard. All right, here we go. And we got to give out the douche stuff. <laughs> no one even knows what he's talking about. <laughs> You'd be surprised. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so will you congratulate your friend on his wedding by giving him oral favors? No, I'm the best man. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, 
Jeez. So you're going to kiss him when he says, and now you may kiss the bride. Yeah, one cheek and one cheek. Are you no, in love no. with him? No. No. Do you want him? No, but didn't you want to hear about the watch? Well, how'd you get that expensive watch? What is, is that watch worth about what? I don't know. It the dinner, like listen to what gold. happened. The dinner was so good, and there's Gutenberg, New Jersey, and the wife, Letitia, made all this. All right, you food. know what? I don't, I don't care. Right. All so right. he gave I'm me an Arab headdress and a, and a watch. Okay. Because you made him dinner? No, his wife did. I don't know what he's talking about. Forget I don't even about care. It. It's a gift. Here's Mark Harris singing about Newt Gingrich, and then we'll throw him out. All right. Dear Newt Gingrich, I must tell you publicly, you're sounding like the Führer from Germany. <laughs> Germany. Wait, you got to play it through. The words run. All right, so you think he's sounding like a Führer? <laughs> Reincarnated. I'm proud to be an American in the good old USA. But as for you, behave yourself in a more respectful way. <laughs> what the, How old should... is Mark? Oh, How old, old are you? Wait, you didn't, this is only the How first thing goes into a production. How old are you? I'll be 46. <laughs> This is from, like, a, a Rudy Valley. <laughs> oh, no, that's the verse. The production comes in. Oh. Oh. Dear Newt Gingrich. Gee, Leo DeLion was right. You don't play it straight through. Go ahead. <laughs> Joe Michael did this Leo music. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Gingrich. <laughs> I'm writing this. To... Do you ever listen to current music? Yeah. Why don't you listen to a song Barely that was written in this, in this era? era. You know, Newt Gins Gingrich's mother whispered to Connie Chung She's that, in that song. Mark Harris is an a-hole. <laughs> Do you know that? I didn't hear that one. She's in that song. Is she? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No <laughs> more profanity about the first lady, Hillary. mother didn't do it it's now too late she blew it and as for only white just who are you to think that's right for a what is she talking about i don't about? know but what? what's happening with the music what and tempo you know? is that? Yeah. Near the, the ad libs go ahead what tempo what what is that these aren't ad libs you wrote this no, down yeah no the next part the ad libs ad -lib. did he say those were ad libs yeah, no the next one right <laughs> after right. just where you edited <laughs> just where you edited oh. nation now i just heard the other day about your sister the one who What is it? Okay. What? What? The, I don't still understand what your problem... Right, oh, right. the next is an ad-lib? All right, let me hear the ad-lib. <laughs> I'm not gonna date you Oh, that was it. That's an ad-lib. <laughs> Glad we got that. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm sorry I stepped on that. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh-huh. You see, this This is your tape of your song. Look, look, watch it. See that? Oh, so you're not finishing the song. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I have more. Dear Mark, why don't you go have your giant loose a-hole tightened up? Look at this. <laughs> the new book, Howard Stern's Miss America, is on sale now. Listen, Mark, congratulations on your new song about right. Newt Gingrich. So and tomorrow, your just turn, and your TV turn show. The news, what is the name of the TV show again? Tasty Travels. Tomorrow, Tasty tune in, Travels. I'll be next to Mr. Blackwell oh. while he reads off the list. <laughs> Where? Where would this be? In his house. You're going to be next to Mr. Blackwell when he reads off his tomorrow list. Tomorrow morning. Of Why? worst dress. Of the worst dress, but I'll be dressed up for the occasion. Is this a press conference or just fun? <laughs> I think this is fun. Now, we'll start with Madonna. Now, the princess of pop is lost in a land of peroxide, powder, and paint. Yesterday's shock lady is today's schlock. <laughs> yeah, how did you work yourself into that? Well, Why will you be standing there? Oh, yeah, you know. He invited me. And uh, we also are hoping... Have you ever made love to him? No, but we're trying to do this um, play Love Letters together.
Are you, you in... and he want to read love letters? Yeah. Oh, it's, look it's how smart she is. She knows what it is. It's a play where two people, uh, usually a man and a woman, right. get on stage and read love letters oh. to each so other. So it was his idea. To, his idea for you to and to him. To do a male too. rendition of it. And uh, <laughs> our lawyer just uh, Don't you two request. guys realize that you're two guys who really, no one really, like, like you've never been in a production of anything, really, that anyone's really seen. <laughs> we oh. saw and your team. Blackwell, yeah. Yeah, 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 Blackwell, Blackwell has Blackwell. not been in anything that really? you know, not, not recently yeah kids. i know yeah. one of the east side yeah. kids that was a hundred years ago okay. but blackwell hasn't been in anything either that and he's a guy who reads the top ten list right the worst so don't you guys realize at some point that no one is going to pick up on this stuff about reading love letters and all that well i hope they do i mean we put in a request who to is going to go watch you and mr blackwell read, read love, love letters, letters to each surprised? other I'd go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is it? You know that Mark elicits like the biggest number of uh, faxes on the show. <laughs> Douche dust the kids. Thank you. Yeah. That's uh -oh. <laughs> All right. So I see. Dear Mark, why don't you go have your giant loose a hole tightened up? Look at this. <laughs> Who writes these things in the back room? Howard, please, please, please let me kick his ass. So I'm really <laughs> king of all Mark Harris haters. <laughs> Now, that's the only clap I'm getting today. <laughs> now, you've gotten the clap, I'm sure, several never, times. Never, never. Jackie Martling's wild 78-minute comedy CD or cassette is only $10, plus $3 shipping and handling. Buy two, get one free. Call 1-800-323-KING. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The best Oscar coverage is brought to you by the network that begins with the letter E. All right, thank you for the Christmas gift of Douche Das. May you all use it. Oh, you're <laughs> trying to tell us we smell. Trying to tell we smell. I'm going to use it. Thank yeah, it's you. it's really good. Drink it. <laughs> Look well, at this fax I just got. I want to kill Mark Harris. Sign the Pope. Wow. Could have been worse. Could have been Newt Gingrich. Will you wear your uh, chic outfit next to Mr. Blackwell tomorrow? No, I'll be dressed for the weekend. So what happened? You go over Mr. Blackwell's house, and you guys work on this play together? No, we have to have written permission from Mr. Gurney, who wrote the play, so that's what we're waiting for. You Aren't saw you? Mark when he did that Dorian Gray thing. Every breath and food is sheer perfection. I can hardly stand his only I'm still gorgeous. Another night of beauty. So what happened Surely. with that? Giving that to the agent too. You see, I can't do everything. We got to, now. I'll have an agent. So your agent will represent you in playing Dorian Gray. You're going to be a garment worker. Well, I may be never too, ages. I may be too old at the time, even with surgery, to play the part. But I, I see. And your agent is Dick Swallower, <laughs> the famous Hollywood agent. I wonder. That's funny. No, Hal is Stallmaster. It? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, very good. Hal Stallmaster. And who is he? Artist group. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. And, and what is he representing you on, on your various plays and Mr. Blackwell? He doesn't represent him at all yet. He yeah, says tomorrow he's going to have we'll an meet at the Friars tomorrow. and make a deal. Oh, oh you see, so, so Harry Stallwater doesn't, <laughs> Whatever. doesn't represent you at all, does he? As of today, no. As of tomorrow, yes. No, what, we don't know what, what will change tomorrow? Has he met you yet? Well, we've been on the phone quite a few days discussing all these projects. I see. You see, he, there's a lot of people unlike you that think represent? I'm going to be a star. Dom DeLuise and some other people. But uh, unlike you, uh, there's a lot of people that think I am going to be a star. Oh, they do. And w wouldn't they think it's unusual that in so far, you're 46 years old, no one has tapped your talents for anything and, and maybe... Haven't been out there trying before this year. Is that right? Before 94. This right. is the first year that you actually tried. 94, June, yeah. And, and what is he most excited about? The TV show Love or the... the tasty travels and all that stuff, yeah. And the fact that I have balls enough, to, besides picking them up, to go out there and perform. I see. All right. Well, Tasty listen. Travel. Tasty travels, and of course, you're you're reading with Mr. Blackwell. No, tomorrow. if we get permission. Right. No, I'll just be there while he. Uh, and you and Mr. Decides. Blackwell will read love letters to one another. It would be great. Right. <laughs> It'd be great. 
<laughs> and wh where will these shows air? On the Homo Network? <laughs> no, but that's a good... Is there a Homo that's Network? A good network. Why don't you start something? Yeah, we Homo should. We should. Whack -a -whack. Homo box office. Homo box office. <laughs> Homo box office. <laughs> well, my New Year's began great. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. You know he's RuPaul with no talent? Yeah. <laughs> RuPaul with no talent. <laughs> Just a little bit. Well, pretty. Mark, anyway, yeah. listen, congratulations on Martha Ray, uh, the estate. You must come back and show us all your surgery after it's done. All right, Mark Harris in his shake outfit. Yes. Looking fabulous. Now, that's the only clap I'm getting today. <laughs> now, you've gotten the clap, I'm sure, several never, times. Never, never. Never, is that right? Okay, Very good. All right, Mar the great Mark Harris. Yeah. I'd make a magazine cover. I do keep house on a dime. I make a wonderful lover. I should be paid over time, cause I could fry too. On top of the heap, my Crisco's as deep as a pool. And I could broil too. My ribs get applause, my lamb chops will cause you to drool. For a candied sweet or a pickled beet, step up to my Shamorgas board. Go around until you have had your fill. Baby, you will never be bored. Oh, I'm a pate, a marron glacé. The dish that you wish that you took. And what's more, baby, I can cook. For a candied sweet or a pickled beet, step up to my smorgasbord. board. Grayson. You just said it. The important thing is to know what you want most. I was, um... New York City with Dana King and Patrick Van Horn. You either love him, you hate him, but according to his ratings, you can't live without him. We are talking about the one, the only, Howard Stern. A man is about to turn his rock'em, shock'em ways into a bigger business than it already is. I'm going to revolutionize the way you look yeah. at entertainment. <laughs> The self-proclaimed king of all media is building an empire, conquering the airwaves. And hordes of loyal Howard Stern fans couldn't be happier. I think he's a genius. He gives the people what they want. For me, he's my therapist. Your therapist. Howard's my therapist. The shock jocks launching the Howard Stern Radio Network. Hey, Stern says he's right tired of battling on, local on, DJs, so now he'll be the boss. The Stern Network is set to debut later this year. He will basically offer a 24-hour satellite service to stations all over the country, which will feature him in the morning, and then disc jockeys and musical programming that he chooses. As I see this shining, beautiful crowd, I have to say one thing. It is amazing that they let all you people vote. It is... Stern's already played politician, running for the governorship of New York. Now he's ready to leap to the silver screen with a major motion picture deal that's reportedly been years in the works. The $20 million movie version of Stern's first book, Private Parts, starts shooting next month, expected to get an R rating. I think Howard has really bandied about the movie in his own brain for a long time. He's been haunted by it, sort of. He wants to make a movie that his fans will really, really like. He doesn't want to make a piece of schlock. Hey, I got your little foxy daughter here. So, who's going to play Howard Stern in the film version of his life story? Well, who do you think? Howard. Meanwhile, casting's underway to find three kids to play Stern in his younger years. I just want to recreate that for about 20 seconds. Right. That's all I need. Well, sure. Recently, Stern asked old pal David Letterman, a guest on his radio show, to be in the movie. I don't want to put you on the spot. No, let's do it. It sounds great. Right. Come on, step up to the microphone. Come on up here. Whoa. Lately, Stern's veering from bikini lines to night line. Kind of. Recently in the hot seat, Simpson prosecutor Christopher Darden. Even John Kennedy Jr. I figured you got, you must have got laid at 15. 14, you lost your virginity easily. Um, it, Don't be too it proud was, of yourself. It was a red, no, I think it was a little later. I think it was actually, I was, I was a late bloomer. Howard, Howard, Howard. Howard Stern's just signed a new five year deal taking his radio show till the end of the century. So with the new radio network, the books, and the movie, can fans ever get too much of their radio guru? Howard's going to go down along with Jack Benny, George Burns, and the other radio greats as being a, uh, a guy who innovated radio. I think we'll, we'll be hearing him uh, on the radio and maybe on TV for the next 10, 20 years. So 
show. What's it like to sit down mic to mic with the shock jock? Well, here's one woman who knows. Comedian and impressionist Marilyn Michaels is a frequent guest on The Stern Show, where she was actually this very morning, and she joins us now live in New York City. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Dana. What's the most embarrassing thing he has ever done to you? Oh, my God. Uh, the most embarrassing, well, first of all, this morning I went in there and I was just wearing like a, a tight little uh, top, you know, like really cute and everything. And Jackie uh, Martling was sitting there and Howard and I walked in and I said, oh, breasts, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> your breasts, they're great, they're this, they're that. And I said, I, I didn't expect it. You know, I said, well, that's the best news I've had all week. Thank you. And they're <laughs> yours. What, and they're mine. They said, are those implants? I said, no, they are mine. There you go. <laughs> now, why do you endure this? Why do I endure it? Yeah. Well, it was fun. If you think quickly, which, thank you, I do, uh, it's a challenge for me. I enjoy it. You can't do Howard's show if you're afraid. If you're afraid, you think he's going to stump you, he's going to embarrass you, then you can't do it. But if you can think quick and you like the challenge, it's great fun, and I never know what's going to happen. He makes me do things. Eh, eh, eh. We do jokes as Dr. Ruth. Yes, like that, very cute. We call people up. We do crazy things. I love it. Now, he, this is a guy who won't let his children listen to his show. Is he really Howard Stern like he is on the radio? No, always? no, I, don't, I, I believe that three quarters of Howard is not that at all. That it's a character. Oh, he's going to love hearing you say <laughs> No, that. he's going to kill me. I'm ruining his, uh, his reputation here. But then he's, a, he's a family man. He's a terrific father. He's a terrific husband. He's a faithful husband. He's a wonderful son. He's going to kill me when he hears this. But it's true. I mean, he's really a nice Jewish boy, you know? Well, I only have one other question. And what? I, I, I know you can answer this Wait till he asks me. He asked me about my husband is a surgeon, right? It, and he specializes in colon and rectal surgery. Now I remembered that was the most embarrassing thing. He had a field day with my husband, Peter. I, I would think so, but... but I don't want to get into it, Dana. No, no, we, we can't, because this is a family show. But let me ask you this. Is that really his hair? Yeah, all of it. All, all right. Of it. But okay. this morning he was wearing it back in that little face. He just looked like a, a little baby. He was just like this little darling guy. I mean it. I swear he's adorable. Okay. All yes. right. It's not a weave. You heard it here first. Marilyn Michaels, thanks for being with Bye, us. Bye, sweetie. Stern is also known for unleashing his sharp tongue.